The Biden administration says it is making progress at the southern border, where the number of unaccompanied migrant children in custody has fallen dramatically. Homeland Security officials say U.S. Customs and Border Protection held 677 children over the weekend. Now, that is an 88 percent drop from March when the agency had a record 5,700 lone minors in custody. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas joins us first on CBS This Morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Secretary. Good morning. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Yeah, we're glad you're here. We're going to get to the numbers in just a second. But first, we want to start with the story that uh, Liliana just reported about the un that it appears to be a case of human smuggling. What can you tell us about what happened here? Uh, we are interdicting uh, individuals uh, who are trafficked by human smugglers, both on land and at sea. And it is a powerful and unfortunately tragic, tragic example of the manner in which human smugglers exploit vulnerable individuals. It is why we um, so often and so um, powerfully articulate that uh, one should not take the dangerous journey. Uh, we are building lawful pathways for individuals to access our, our asylum system as a law provides. It's a tragic example of what human smugglers do to people in need. It is tragic, and I hear you say, look, we tell people don't come, but they continue to come. How do you make it stop, especially since we're hearing, Mr. Secretary, that the cases are now on the rise? We have a multi-part strategy uh, in this administration. Uh, the vice president is leading an effort uh, to address the root causes in the source countries in the Northern Triangle, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador, uh, to assist those countries in building the infrastructure and the capacity so people do not f feel forced to flee their homes. Mm -hmm. We are addressing the human smugglers, and of course, uh, we are providing for asylum relief for those who qualify. Secretary Mayorkas, uh, one of the areas of particular concern is unaccompanied minors at the border who are being allowed to stay in this country. There was a record in March in terms of crossings from that group. Was it also a record in April? Do you know that yet? And are you seeing any evidence that your message of do not come is making a difference? We made a, um, a very important decision uh, that we would not continue to expel unaccompanied children as the Trump administration did. In late March, you are correct, the numbers were extraordinarily high, and we had over 5,700 young children, unaccompanied children, in the custody of the uh, Border Patrol. Now, as of yesterday, uh, we had under 700. It's an extraordinary achievement, and it speaks of the commitment and capabilities of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security and the teamwork with Health and Human Services. But, Mr. Secretary, uh, we does are that, addressing the needs of children. Does, does that reflect a reduction in the number of people coming over the border, or just an increase in how uh, quickly you can move people out of your custody into Health and Human Services custody and then to sponsors? So we don't have the April numbers yet. Uh, we should have those cumulatively uh, within a day or two. Uh, the numbers uh, remain high. Whether they are as high as March is yet undetermined. But it really speaks uh, to the re-engineering and operationalizing of the process. I said in March that we have a plan. We're executing on the plan and that it takes time. We are seeing those results in just 30 days. We're hearing that there's good news from your department this morning that, uh, you're, uh, that you all have reunited four families, who were, four children rather, who were separated from their families under the Trump administration. Is that true? Uh, that is indeed true. Uh, we expect four families to be reunited uh, tomorrow. How were you able uh, to get them together? Families. How were you able to get them together? This is very important. So this is a, the work of, uh, once again, uh, the extraordinary commitment uh, in an all-of-government effort following the president's charge that this is a priority. President Biden said we must reunite these families. He directed the creation of a task force of multiple departments and agencies in an all-of-government effort. We are working very closely uh, with the American Civil Liberties Union that has been representing uh, the families since uh, its inception and other community-based organizations. This is really about an all-in public-private partnership 
to reunite the families and begin the healing. So We're that's very four proud kids. How many, that this how is many just more the beginning. Left, how many more are left, Secretary Mayorkas, and then we've got to go? I'm just glad we're making progress on this. How many kids left? We have left? hundreds left. Yeah. We have hundreds of families left, and we will reunite them all. All right, Secretary Mayorkas, thank you for your, your time this morning.